All right, guys, I'm super excited for this. You know, we we're getting deep into Yu Yu Hakusho on my re read through it and my rescale. And like I said before, especially in my community tab where I commented on this the most, I have to apologize for how bad my prior scaling was. Consider it non-canon. This is the new stuff. I'm outside. It's a beautiful day out. This is a beautiful video because we're talking about one of the goats of manga. He a himself. I'm going to explain who he is and I'm going to explain why with my new scaling, my accurate scaling, why he a even up to the dark tournament is a monster. Absolutely insane. Has great scaling and why you should respect him real quick. If you like Yu Yu uh, Hakusho content and he a smash the like button. Run it up for the next uh, Yu Yu video as we get deeper and deeper into it. I'm going to make it consistent on my channel. Also, for all my Yu Yu fans, if you want to become a member for free, free membership, you got to pass my Yu Yu Hakusho test. DM me on Discord and you will have a chance to win if you pass the test. Get free membership and come hang out with the other members on my channel. I might do this with Bleach also once I finish it. Not sure yet. Smash the like button if you want me to do that as well. But anyways, we've talked enough. Let's get into Hiei. So first, one thing we need to talk about is feats and why he's stupidly fast. So first of all, speed scaling is completely different now for me. For um, you, you early series characters are MFTL plus to even having higher tiers of uh, scaling for speed. Although I'll save that for the second round or into series scaling for he but these beings can travel casually in just moments from earth to the underworld like the middle of the underworld which has statements of being vast and endless but they also it's also been shown to be like beyond the stars so they can travel beyond the stars so worst case mftl plus pretty casually and he a even early on the first time he fights yusuke literally first time ever was stated to be faster than characters that could do that absurd so he's easily mftl plus and if you need you know statements or feats of him doing that himself interesting enough when he goes on to fight zero uh what's interesting is when, while they're fighting or about to fight is when we first see him summon the black dragon or the martial art known as the fist of the overlord um this is a crazy feat because according to karama this martial art itself um it shouldn't even and it's specifically called blazing fist of the overlord to be exact it shouldn't even be practiced on the human plane couple implications from this this style and the usage of the black dragon itself is potentially either two things planetary obviously because the human plane that's the planet or the universe itself which we've seen at least has got countless stars as uh, depicted in certain manga scenes in the dark tournament you have two parts of scaling right there right what makes this absurd is in the dark tournament we see he a master the black dragon to the point that he's blatantly shown to be stronger than it can overcome it and use it to multiply his own power to the nth degree with nth degree meaning um, the farthest you can take something or the most extreme. That's of course infinite baby, infinite power, Yusuke by Dark Tournament, uh, smash the like button. But anyways, that, that'd be wank. But what, what do I, you know, firmly see him being in terms of like low to mid end, Dark Tournament, um, planet to star level? arguments for both i would specifically say small star level reason for that would of course be genkai revealed that her spirit orb while she was heavily drained by the way was vast like the spirit power and energy was vast but she condensed it and was able to condense it and you need at least a decade of experience to do so but anyway she condensed it and yusuke when he saw it said is that the sun and she said no but the way i condensed it you know, I had to condense it. It would be compared to a miniature sun or a miniature star. The funny thing is, I believe this is small star level. If you got sciency with it, it honestly should be more black hole level. Because in order for fusion to occur in the sun, 
um, at that small of a degree, you would have to have a hypothetical massive amount of force and energy and uh, gravity to even keep it condensed and for fusion to hypothetically occur, even though that shouldn't be physically possible at all. But narratively, pretty obvious, it was a small star. Um, and Yusuke absorbs this. Later, this Yusuke fires off um, a spirit blast, and this is supposed to travel to the um, underworld, and we do see it travel past the stars. But this power was observed by Karama and everybody else. And then we see Bowie's power later in the tournament get absorbed his uh, or observed his battle aura, right? They state his aura is specifically the strongest they've seen to this point. That would include that Yusuke. Keep that in mind, right? So we potentially scale planet, star, small star off this already. Yusuke beat the shit out of of Bowie. It was horrible. Bowie actually compared him to Toguro at that point. That's fascinating because he says he's only ever lost to Toguro before, right? But when he lost to Toguro, Toguro was significantly weaker back then than he is now. So that means he was implying you or he a scales to Toguro in the dark tournament. What's that mean? If you want to see a what if he a fought Toguro in the dark tournament instead of Yusuke, you want to see that video, smash the like button, comment down below and run up the likes on the comments that ask for the video. I'll definitely do that if y'all want to see it. I think it's a dope idea and definitely has some narrative implications of being a great what if. I actually do think Togashi left it there for us to consider. But anyways, we see um he ate scaled above at least yusuke that absorbed the small star and then his speed mftl plus easily uh the black dragon he has mastered now here's one of the downfalls of he um unfortunately his gas tank is shit um after he fought Bowie, right during the fight he used the black dragon it got reflected back at him he beat it into submission, absorbed it, uh, amped himself, slaughtered Bowie, but then he was tired after. Can't use that super state for that long, in the dark tournament at least, at that point. So his gas tank at peak performance is questionable. So his typical potency is going to be below his highest range because that won't last long. But yeah, his martial art alone in the Black Dragon use shouldn't even be attempted in the real world or reality. It's that dangerous, which can be interpreted multiple ways and makes things very interesting. But anyways, guys, what do you think of my updated EA video? Do you agree with his speed? I easily have him at MFTL+. Plus. I mean, consider this lastly for speed. When he first used that Black Dragon, it was stated to come from the underworld or the hell realm instantly so he instantly summons it reacts to it and we know he's stronger than it so he can beat it so he's faster than it right summons the black dragon uses it and so therefore and by the way it's stated to hit its opponent instantly if he can react to that and use it he's got to be as fast or faster obviously it just gives credence to the idea um, and reinforces the idea that he's MFTL plus to even ex inaccessible, but we're not going to use that against uh, Ukior in the first round. We'll save that for end of series EA arguments. But yeah, I do think Dark Tournament EA is super slept on. I think my scaling was atrocious when I first did it. This is a lot better. Obviously, you can range. I think his AP is more questionable than his speed ap of course i'm differentiating between how much stuff he can blow up versus like who he can hurt that can tank stuff right so for example wolverine's a good example wolverine can't blow up a lot of stuff but he can hurt really strong characters that can take massive explosions and high capacity attacks so that's what we're getting into his ap can vary you can go from planet planet plus to the even small star level um, but he's definitely in that range, has arguments for it. Super uh, fast, gas tank sucks, but he's a menace, definitely doesn't mind killing you. Also, his aura um, sword in the dark tournament was stated to be massively powerful compared to even Kuwabara's sword, which is very impressive. 
and overall he is one of the most formidable characters um in the dark tournament wasn't even afraid to brawl with the entire stadium one of my favorite characters in Yu Hakusho show has insane scaling now that i'm really uh going back and rereading and overall i think he's gonna be a terrific fight for ukiora which of course that fight that first round that part one which is dark tournament uh hiei versus um ukiora up until he lost to ichigo i think it's gonna be an amazing fight let me know in the comment section who you think uh will win uh if we hit 300 likes on this i will drop that versus video so definitely run up the likes but anyway thank you guys for watching it's been your boy yfe and i'll see y'all later peace